Welcome to the Tying Bench with Steve Hudson. The Tying Bench is a production of FlyKits.net, your source for quality fly tying kits and fly tying guides. The Tying Bench is presented in conjunction with Alpharetta Outfitters, covering your fly fishing and fly tying needs from the heart of Alpharetta, Georgia. Hello, I'm Steve Hudson, and I'd like to welcome you to this episode of The Tying Bench. Today, we're going to focus on the Y2K, an exceptional egg imitation that's a great fly for trout, especially in stocked streams. The original Y2K consisted of yarn in two colors, Y2K, using orange and yellow yarn tied to a hook to imitate an egg. We're going to tie the enhanced version of the fly, which adds two features to it. First, a bead head, which gives the fly some extra weight, and secondly, a red dubbed collar, which enhances the fly's appeal to trout. I tie my Y2Ks on size 12 or size 14, 1x short nymph hooks. Those hooks are perfectly proportioned for this fly and they're heavy enough to add a little weight to help the fly sink. You can also use dry fly hooks if you have them, but be certain that the eye of the hook is large enough that the bead stays in place. And what about that bead? For these hooks I'm using 1 8 inch gold colored brass beads. I could use tungsten beads for even greater weight, or for a lightweight version of the fly, I could use a large glass craft bead. Glass craft beads are available in a wide range of colors, and that gives you a great deal of flexibility when deciding on your Y2K color scheme. With the bead in place, it's time to start your tying thread. Start your thread right behind the bead and then wrap the thread in close spaced wraps back toward the bend of the hook. When you reach the bend of the hook, continue wrapping, but now move your thread forward again so that you finish behind the back of the bead. Now use your tying scissors to trim away the tag end of the thread. With the bead in place and your thread base complete, you're ready to consider the body material for this fly. You'll recall that the Y2K is made with yarn in two colors, typically yellow and orange. But what you'll find is a strand of yarn straight from the package may be too thick. The solution is to take a strand of the yarn and pull it apart into two pieces. That makes the finished fly much more translucent, and translucency in an egg pattern enhances performance significantly. Now you're ready to tie in the yarn to form the Y2K's body. We're using two colors of yarn, here orange and yellow, and we could tie them in one at a time. But instead of doing that, let's tie them in at the same time. We'll put the orange yarn on the near side of the hook and the yellow yarn on the back side of the hook. To do that, position them over the hook with the bead between the two colors. Then use your thread to make a loose wrap followed by some tight wraps to secure the pieces of yarn to the hook. Now you're ready to fold the yarn into its final position. This is easy to do. Simply grab the front portions of yarn, stroke them backwards, hold them in position, and wrap a number of turns of thread right behind the bead and right in front of the yarn to secure the yarn 
and prop it where you want it to be. Now you're ready to apply some red dubbing to your thread to get ready to form the fly's dubbed collar. I like to use a sparkly dubbing blend and one with coarse fibers. And I apply it to the thread not too tight. I make it fairly loose and fairly rough. And I don't over roll the dubbing because I want my dubbing noodle to have some texture to it. Now that you have applied dubbing to your thread, wrap the dub thread around the fly, directly behind the bead and directly in front of the yarn to form a dubbed collar. You want a collar that's about the size or a little larger than your bead. With your dubbed collar complete, it's time to tie off your thread. You can use a whip finish or you can use your homemade half hitch tool made from the barrel of a ballpoint pen. Wrap a couple of turns of thread around the tool, slip the tool over the bead, and slide the thread off so it falls in right behind the bead and right in front of the dubbed collar. I use two of these two turn half hitches to secure my thread and give me a very durable finished fly. Now you can cut away the thread by using the back edge of one of your scissor blades as a knife. Tension the thread, pull the blade along the thread, and the thread will part cleanly and easily. Now you're ready to trim the fly's body to its final length. Put your scissors in place at the back of the bin, and then cut across the yarn in one smooth cut. Cutting the body even with the back of the bend gives you a perfectly proportioned body on your enhanced Y2K. To complete your enhanced Y2K, place a drop of head cement at the back of the bead between the back of the bead and the front of the dubbed collar. The head cement will wick in and when it dries, Everything will be secure and your enhanced Y2K will be ready to go. One easy variation on the basic enhanced Y2K theme is to use a glass craft bead instead of a brass bead. And the easy way to put a glass bead on the hook is to simply plow your hook through your bead container. The bead will magically find its way onto the hook, and with that, the hard part is done. Then complete the fly by adding yarn and a red dubbed collar, and you'll end up with an enhanced Y2K with an altogether different look. The key to successfully fishing the Y2K is to think of it as a nymph, and one key to successful nymph fishing is to understand that trout typically hang out near the bed of the stream. You also need to remember that the trout is going to be facing into the current. That's almost always upstream, but it may be in a different direction depending on how the water is flowing. In light of those considerations, our challenge is to find a way to present the fly so that it's deep enough to be where the fish are, and so that it drifts down to the fish from upstream. One great way to do that is with an indicator nymphing rig, as shown here. There's a strike indicator, essentially a float, floating along on the surface. The leader passes through the strike indicator and goes down to a small piece of split shot which is placed between one and a half and two times the average water depth below the strike indicator. Go with the longer two times distance spacing in faster flows as that makes it easier for the split shot to pull the fly down deep 
And what about the Y2K? Tie it on 6 to 8 inches below the piece of split shot. The trout sees the fly and takes it. To tell when that happens, watch your indicator carefully as it drifts along with the current. At the moment of the strike, it will do something unusual. Move upstream or down, zig or zag, or maybe go underwater completely. But in any case, that's your sign to set the hook by sweeping the rod upstream, hopefully connecting you with what will turn out to be a memorable trout. Well, that's it for this episode of The Tying Mitch. And I hope you've enjoyed learning to tie the Enhanced Y2K with me today. It's a great fly, and I think it will work well for you on streams wherever you happen to be. Please let me know how it does. Let me know what you catch with it. And until next time, tight lines to you, and I'll be looking for you on the water. To learn about the complete line of Tie It and Try It fly tying kits, including a special kit for tying the Enhanced Y2K, please visit flykits.net.